What's going on y'all? Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. Um, rolling out through some Christmas light takedowns today. Um, anyways, I was tagged in a post in one of these groups um, about roof cleaning. And, you know, somebody was asking, you know, how do I remove this or how do, what do I do to get this stuff off? And one of the responses was, sometimes you have to use more pressure than you want. And the guy got, quite frankly, attacked and told all kinds of things that he was an idiot and didn't know what he was talking about. Um, and I, I'm really kind of surprised about that. There's, there's a big difference between saying you're gonna have to use a little bit more pressure than saying that you're going to need to use high pressure. Huge difference between that. Um, if you're cleaning a roof with a 12 volt or an air diaphragm pump, you're not going to be able to dislodge moss and lichen and 99% of the time when we clean a roof we set the expectations of the customer saying it's customer you know when we clean this roof all that stuff the the black stains are going to be gone before we leave any moss or lichen it's going to look like snow it's going to fall off you know it's going to dry out bake off fall off whatever disintegrate um for anything else that's up on the roof you know if you need it removed um, you know, like they're selling the house next week and they need to get it cleaned up for listing photos. They don't have time to wait for that. In that situation, absolutely, we're going to use a little bit more pressure. Now, does that mean that we're going to we're gonna break out the, the green 25 uh, degree tip and we're going to go to town on it or we're going to Zorro the roof? No, no. It means what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit it with a decently hot mix. Let it sit. Do its work touch up any areas that need a little bit more mix on them. And then yes, we are going to take, um, with the booster pump, I can literally just switch tips and then it'll dislodge the, the moss off of there. It's not ideal. And also when we do this, we explain to the customer, hey, Mr. Customer, this is not our normal process. Since you need this done right now, we're going to rinse it. In that rinsing process, there is the potential for some granular loss. We're not gonna really cause any additional damage to the roof but it is going to go ahead and uncover the areas where this moss and lichen was. Um, that's how we explain it. And it even has it in our job description, uh, but we also get a, make sure that we get a response from the customer stating that, that they understand that yes, this process is going to require some pressure. Now, for those of you who wanna freak out about all that, uh, first and foremost, when you wash a house, there is no way to do it with zero pressure. You are spraying something in a direction. There is force that is being applied towards that object. Whether it's 100 PSI or 200 PSI or 500 PSI, whatever it may be. Again, you're going to stay as far away from the surface as possible. If it's just straight up organic material staining and whatnot, you're not going to use a whole lot of pressure. Um, but if you do need to use a little bit more, that's the difference between going from 50 or 100 PSI to say 200 PSI. Again, our booster um, can easily remove all the moss and lichen without causing big damage. Um, I certainly would recommend against taking a pressure washer up there to do it, but if you have to, you have to. You're still gonna use a soft wash tip. You can use a 2540 um, to easily get, you know, enough pressure, but not a lot of pressure onto uh, that to remove the stuff. Um, so that's pretty much it. But again, it's not about using high pressure, just enough to get the job done. Have a great day.